Hey everybody and welcome back to MTG Killer Bees. It is Guilds of Ravnica Day. So we are going to be opening some packs and some pre-release packs for four of the five guilds. Unfortunately, we didn't get Selesnya, but we do have Boros, Izzet, Demir, and Golgari. So we we're able to get Demir and Golgari theme packs. If you didn't know, these are new packs that they're trying out. They come with 35 cards, and they are seated to be the guild that you choose. So Demir should be blue and black cards. And I believe they are half commons. And then... Well, it says 35 cards, including at least one rare or mythic card. Just add 25 lands, and there's your 60-card deck. Hmm. It does not actually specify... At least one otherwise. rare. Yeah. All right. What do you want to do first? Uh, What's your favorite guild? I don't know. Boros is red and white. Is it yeah. is blue and red? Yeah. They do a lot of artifact stuff, so. I do a lot of artifacts. That. Ooh, dice. And the dice is guild specific, so the. The 20 on the die is the guild symbol. Like that. Mm. Steps you need to build the deck. And this is a pre-release pack, so this is the pack you would have gotten if you went to a pre-release event for a sealed deck. Oh. All right, so. Okay. okay. The Elf Knight token immediately. So you get... Five regular packs plus one seeded pack that is in the colors you've chosen. We do the packs or the seeded pack? That's you. So our pre release That's should be right in front. So, yeah. You get one foil pre release card. Ours is Thousand Year Storm. Which is pretty crazy, actually. It gives. It basically gives all your instants and sorceries storm, which is nuts. Uh, Crackling Drake, Hemisphere's Insight, and Book Devourer. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, a bunch of commons. I think it's going to be just like a regular pack, a one rare and. Yep, and. Oh, Field Gate. I believe. Every pack comes with a guild gate. Does it? Let's find out. <laughs> all the packs I've opened so far, I've only opened a, a few, but all of them I've opened so far came with a guild gate. Boy, token. All right. Arboretum Elemental. Arboretum. Ah, oh, yes, Arboretum. We Dragonauts. <laughs> That's a reprint. Pilfering Imp. Oh. I have April and another, Earth. Thousand another year thousand year storm. Thousand year. So we got yes. two thousand years of storms. Uh, there's a Golgari Guildgate. And then a foil hammer dropper. Great foiling. Go mm. Wizards, because a couple of the extensions sucked with foiling. Mm. Look at you, Battle Bond. Leave Battle Bond alone. Mulder Hawk. Hulk. Battle Bond was great, except the foiling was terrible for some reason. Inescapable Blaze. Gird for battle. Experimental Frenzy. Hmm. Okay. You may look at the top card of your library any time. You may play the top card of your library. You can't play cards from your hand. Pay four to destroy Elemental Frenzy. Join Shields. Street Riot. Sunholm Stalwart. No, no, no. Guildgate, Boris. Uh, oh, we have a double response and <laughs> resurgence. And split card. Ooh. Some of the split cards on this set are pretty good. Mm 
Golgari Raiders, Gatekeeper Gargoyle, Disinformation Campaign, I just like the name on that, and Guild Mages Forum. Hmm, okay. Boros. Have one man of any color. If that man was spent on a multicolored creature, that creature enters the battlefield with an additional 1 1 counter on it. Hmm. That'd be a hell of a lot better if you didn't have to pay one to get that one man of any color. And then another guild gate. House guild mage. That's actually pretty one of the best uncommons, in my opinion. Necrotic Wound. Rampaging Monument. Oh, we got a Mythic. Underrealm. Ooh. Lich. I love that guy. <laughs> All right. So that if you would draw a card, first. instead look at the top three cards of your library, then put one in your hand, the rest in your graveyard. Pay four life. Underrealm Lich gains indestructible until end of turn. So he basically lets you brainstorm every turn. And he protects himself. All you gotta do is pay for life. Alright. Oros is next. Valor, Justice, and Law. Red die. <laughs> uh, soldier token. Another one. You always get the little guild insert that explains who they are. Light of the Legion hmm. is our special card there. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, let's guild gate again. Boring. Inspiring Unicorn. Lava Coil. And Goblin Banneret. Hmm. Last one come out of there. Swarm Guild Mage. What guild mage is in this? Yeah, there might be one for Coil. each guild. Conclave Guild Mage. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Divine Visitation. Another mythic. Ooh. If one or more creature tokens would be created under your control, create that many 4-4 four, four white angel creature tokens with flying and vigilance instead. <laughs> So we've gotten it's like our fourth three mythic. mythics in just regular packs. Yeah, there we go. Plus the pre-release Thousand Year Storm, which is a mythic. Minotaur, World Soul Colossus. That's some odd artwork. Hmm? Plague Crafter. Oh, and another slick card. Knife and Concoct. Gain control of target creature with power two or less, or surveil three, then return a creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Ocarin Assassin. Uncommon foil. Hmm. Actually, not bad. I'm just going to pump it up. It's a built-in lure. Mm -hmm. Conclave Tribunal. A spy bug. Hmm. Circuitous root. Another slick card. Find and finality. Hmm. Hmm. And a foil common loxodon restore. Oh, the loxodons. The elephant people. I don't remember ever seeing them. Laxodon Warhammer is the first thing I ever saw them on. Alright, True Fire Captain. Hazda Marshall. 
Buttbound Phantasm. The rare is Blood Operative. Yeah, I opened another one of these earlier today. It's, I don't know what to think about it. What do you guys think? When it has 3-1 lifelink, when it enters the battlefield, you may exile target card from a graveyard. Whenever you surveil, if it's in your graveyard, you may pay 3 life and return it to your hand. Hmm. It seems very situational to me. Like Another one of those. It's good against people who manipulate their graveyard. Madev Champion. Hellkite Whelp. And Rare er Erratic Cyclops. Hmm? Yes, I almost said something else. Erratic Cyclops? Yes. So, it's what? 0 8 Trample. When you cast an instant or sorcery spell, it gets plus X plus 0. Where X is that spell's converted mana cost? Eh. Oh. Okay. Hmm. I'm doing that. Anti theft crap in there, too. And yes, I tried to get pre release kits for some other guilds, but Boros and Is It was all that's left. Yeah. Golgari and Demir sold out immediately. You you got like the last ones at, at literally at the store that <laughs> we went to. All right. Commons. We got a grappling sundew. Keep these separate. I'm wondering how many uncommons are oh, in here. Okay. District guide. Affectionate Endrick. Another district guide. Another Endrick. Prowl swamp. Another necrotic wound. Creeping chill. They're just like interspersed in there. And they seem to be. Okay, there's some more. Golgari Fine Grover. Hmm. Undercity Uprising with some kind of creepy artwork on It's a common. Medusa. Uh, Silent Dart. Mulder Hulk. Status and statue. <laughs> That's weird. All right, Swarm Guild Mage. Oh, uh, yeah, just ran by. An assassin, a regular one there, and for the rare, assassin's trophy. Hey, there we go. That's currently the most expensive card in the set. Like, really? Mm-hmm. Huh. And now we're on to my favorite guild. <laughs> Demir. Big surprise. Blue Black. They're all about secrets and spying. They're so cool. Demir, shadowy spies and infiltrators. Oh, he's a <laughs> Go away, kitty. The cat has decided that D20s are now play toy. How many uncommons were in that pack? I don't know. Let's see. Glaive of the Guild. 14. Night Veil Sprite. Another Pilfering Imp. Rampage Monument. <laughs> So these packs don't have a set number of Night Veil Predator. Commons and uncommons, apparently. They apparently don't. Uh, Discovery and Dispersal. I want to show that. <laughs> Wand of Vertebrae. Yeah. Uh, da, da, da. Another spy bug. Oh, nar Narcomoeba. Narcomoeba. It's good for a dredge. Another knife. No, so we got two rares in this one. Yeah. Okay. So that was a little bit better, but we got fewer uncommons, I'm guessing. Oh, way less. Yeah, we have like 13, 14? Eight uncommons in the Demir pack, but we got two rares. And then 
the Golgari was 14 uncommons with one rare. It's so basically 20 commons. One of my friends today opened one that was 18 uncommons mm. and a rare. Which one did he open? Um, is it? Oh. But I'm guessing they vary pack to pack. So. All right. All right. I guess that's it. We'll see you guys later. Say bye, honeybee. Bye, honeybee. Those are some killer bees.